hello everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching this video so for this video i'm gonna try to show you how to create a rope simulation with uh, 3ds max's new uh, mass effects tools so i'll try to go slowly and step by step uh, for this video so anyway let's start with uh, creating a box we will uh, turn on our grid snapping now it's always uh, wise to create your sync to real world scale so we'll set our uh, unit setup to fit with the functional inches or decimal inches and we'll make this box five feet in each direction now this is strictly going to be as for our reference so we'll just make it a see-through and non-renderable this should be enough okay i made a mistake we shouldn't make it see-through we should make it uh, display as box all right so let's create another uh, line and uh, make sure you have your snapping two points so now we have uh, like a spine spline that is uh, five feet uh, five feet tall so anyway let's uh, hide everything else so uh, we should also go to its properties and set it to vertex trick So anyway, we need to add more vertices. So we will divide it a couple of times. So 2, 4, 8, 16. 16 should be fine Now this is also for reference purposes because uh, for simulation we will use bones instead of spline or anything else Now you could use also use like any uh, box or cylinder, but bone is a bit you know easier to create so let's uh, take off our grid snapping and we'll start to draw a bone chain so let's go to front viewport and uh, you should draw your bones from uh, right to left rather than left to right so let's create now the bone seems a bit too big for this in so don't worry we will uh, uh, we will uh, take care of it later now we don't need the last bone in the chain so we'll delete it get out of the bones select your bones okay uh, just for visual purposes we need to make this bone look a bit skinnier so let's go to bone tools and uh, let's select the width and height to something manageable let's say uh, one or two yeah maybe one okay this is fine so the reason uh, why we draw our bone chain from right to left is because then we have the our pivots right around here in between these two bones so this is this is what we need so anyway let's uh, uh, start with uh, you know preparing the scene with mass effects so select all the okay at this point we don't need that spline anymore sure so just we'll just hide everything else except for geometry uh, let's select everything and make everything as a dynamic widget body so the uh, so to get the you know the rope simulation you need to assign some constraint to this bone so the constraint we need is a uh, uh, universal constraint now you can also use like a hinge constraint or a ball socket constraint but uh, uh, I tried with universal constraint and it seemed to work uh, perfectly so anyway let's uh, change your snapping mood to uh, okay let's change your snapping mood to uh, uh, vertex and we'll start creating uh, okay by the way we need to select the bones first so for this one we will create a uh, universal constraint it will go to its uh, properties now the thing you need to do right away is to assign a pattern which would be the bone uh, before that one we need to make it uh, free on swing uh, y z and also free for twist now uh, this uh, icon seems a bit too big so let's just make it like a 0.2 all right so let's go down to the next chain 
another one we will select one before that free 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 point two let's do another one but we need to select the bond first constraint select the bond before that free 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 uh, point two so anyway i hope you get the basic idea so i'll do rest of the one and i'll come back to you when i'm done so hopefully you have figured it out how to you know uh, set up this constraint so i'm on my last constraint okay so here we go uh, now we do need a uh, anchor point right around here so we will create any any object maybe a sphere uh, probably a bit too big it doesn't matter uh, you can just make it like a uh, invisible or uh, later on when you're rendering your stuff so we will also make it a we'll make it a, a kinematic rigid body and uh, we'll set up our constraint for this bone and uh, the parent should be this uh, sphere one we will make it free on swing x y but we want uh, we don't want it to twist so anyway uh, let's give this one a try so just uh, hit play all right this seems to work pretty pretty good so anyway right now it's just a simple bone chain so we need to create definitely we need to create some geometry to get the rope thing so what we'll do we will go to our left viewport and we'll create a cylinder we will set it to okay what's wrong no it's something's wrong with the max anyway let's try it again so this is our cylinder let's assign a different uh, material to it so yeah it's probably too big let's set it to about uh, like a point to one radius and height should be five feet and we will snap it to the sphere x y and z position okay what seems to be the problem okay pivot point pivot point x y and z all right so this is going to be our rope so uh, let's change some uh, parameters under here so we don't need a lot of sides maybe six should be enough because we're gonna add some turbo smooth to it and for height segment we should use uh, round 32 all right so let's add a skin modifier to it skin and from your bones we will add all the bones on our chain so if you go to its envelope you can see I, I mean I'm sure you have used skin modifier before so you know how it works now I think this 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 kind of setup is good enough for this one so we'll just uh, leave it be um, hide our bone objects and let's give it another try Oops. okay somehow we deleted our this constraint here okay so we'll create another one we'll create a universal constraint we'll add it to our sphere make it free one two okay let's play all right unhide everything we don't need our bones and we also don't need this box 
so uh, that is basically how you create a rope now right now it's uh, I mean we can we can do a lot a lot more modification to it so let's try something else with it we will create um, another sphere at the end of this chain uh, we'll try to like uh, you know simulate like a heavy object at the end of the rope so let's add this sphere and uh, let's add a few more segments to it all right now it's we should change our pivot points to you know snap to this vertex so uh, let's snap it over there and snap the sphere there okay so it's way way off let's move it down okay Wait. sorry it's uh, really hard to work and talk at the same time i hope uh, if you have made any tutorials before then you know how hard it can be so anyway uh let's unhide our bone chain Actually, uh, yeah, we, we do need our bone chain back. So for this one, we will set it to, uh, wait, we will set it to uh, dynamic rigid body and a universal constraint with uh, this bone as its uh, parent. Why isn't it selecting? Okay. So for swing X and swing Z should be free. We don't want any twist. All right. So to get some wet effect, what you can do is go to uh, the properties panel and it should be under um, tools, no, edit. Uh, you should try to you know adjust its mass now depending on your scene scale this thing will vary so let's give it a try with the default values okay before we do we should hide our bones okay it seems to be it seems that it's touching the ground it's stretching okay uh, let's try reducing the weight to 0 0.05 Okay, it's still touching All right, so We have our Mass FX chain. I'm sorry mass FX rope okay, So anyway uh hopefully this video will help you and uh, you know on your project or you know somehow so before i go if you need to bake this animation all you have to do is to go under tools and uh, bake just click bake all so hope this has been uh, helpful to you uh, once again thank you for watching and uh, please do subscribe to my channel bye bye